you should only be boiling the amount of water that you need in the kettle. Just fill your mug and that's an easy way to measure it. But that's not all you can do to save money and precious time with your brews. I have what can be termed the kinetic energy temperature turn up like easy implement otherwise known as a kettle and with a normal cup of tea's worth of water in it about 270 ml for my mug it takes 57 seconds to click itself off but when does a kettle click itself off when water reaches 100 degrees right wrong and it took the courage of moneybox listener linda to bring this information to the world boiling one cup of water it took 34 seconds to get to the rumble, which is the point at which it's actually reached 100 degrees. It took another 14 seconds before it switched itself off. So you, you basically found that most of the power is being used to create enough steam to trigger the off switch, not to get the water to yes. boiling point. Yes. So we could turn the kettle off early and still have boiling water? Yes. How do we judge that? Looking at the water, if it's bouncing around, it's boiling. And if you turn off said kettle in the example when the water is bouncing around, you reach 39 seconds of boiling rather than 57. Yes, that is 18 seconds of useless boiling saved. That is almost a third of the time saved, which incidentally is what Linda told us it would be. But hang on, fair sir. Is there more money that can be saved? Well, yes, because we don't drink our tea at boiling point. Our mouths would die and we would be in very much pain. Like this man who drank a cup of scalding hot tea. <coughs> Ideal drinking temperatures range from about 57 degrees to 63 degrees. Either way, a long way from boiling point. But water does cool down when you pour it into the mug. The temperature of the hot water in the mug after pouring is about 92 degrees. What happens if you click the kettle off early when you first see it boiling? Well, 90 degrees. Both far too hot to drink. So say I wanted to turn my kettle off and pour water so that it's ready to drink at a lovely temperature instantly. How long would I have my kettle on for then? It turns out 26 seconds is enough, compared to 57, and over 50%, a half saving on the time, and therefore money, that you spend boiling your kettle. Don't believe me? Well, let's try again, and boil for 26 seconds. And there you have it. The water's perfectly within the drinkable range. A nice hot brew and temperature to spare for adding your milk. So perhaps when you next go to boil your kettle, bring your stopwatch with you, your wallet, the planet, and perhaps most importantly, Linda will thank you.